last video in the series, we've built up all the basic functionality and in this video we'll start uh, moving towards the more interesting reconfiguration of the project. We have the UART and the ADC working and now we'll reconfigure the ADC to use the windowed comparator mode to set up a region of values that we're not interested in. So then we'll change the conversion complete interrupt to a windowed comparator interrupt. Uh, then once we ensure that that's working, we then replace the RTC um, interrupt with the event system. So now we automatically trigger um, ADC conversions to start. So now the only event interrupt that we will use is the out of conversion. Let's finish this project. Okay, so now we are going to change the ADCs to only use a windowed comparator mode. Reconfiguring the start project. Now, what we're doing is we want outside a window, and let's say we're an 8 bit value, so that means up to 256. So anything above 200, we're not interested. In. Well, anything above 200, we are interested in, and anything below 100. And now we're not going to use result ready, we're going to use um, window comparator interrupt enable uh, so that we only get um, an interrupt when we're outside of the, the window that we are interested in. Okay, uh, generating the project. And let's view the diff here. And what I'm going to do is just copy what is different because it's this ISR which is new to us now. And basically that replaces the ADC result ready um, ISR. So everything else we actually want to keep from our side. So um, we're not going to overwrite that file and I will change that functionality. So now we want to take our code out of here and use the compare window instead. This is no longer needed and that should hopefully get us the functionality we're looking for now. Back to the data visualizer. Let's add a graph to help visualize this. And um, we can scroll by time, maybe put some points here. And now as I vary uh, the ADC, you can see that there's a definite window where we get readings that um, we, where we don't get any values. Okay, so, so far so good. We have implemented a window and what we need to do now is we want to replace um, the constant interrupts of our period. At this point we're just using 500 milliseconds so it's not that often that we're waking up but if we had to sample at a higher frequency like um, one millisecond or a few hundred microseconds there'd be a lot of interrupts generated and many of them would not be relevant to us if we're sitting in this period um, in the region. So, okay, so let's you now use the event system. So adding a component event. Now the event system comes with um, this graphical configurator and I can drag and drop. Um, I can't drag onto the ADC yet. I have to first enable and now I'm able to trigger a conversion on an event. To have a look at the dashboard and see what we've actually set up, you can see that um, the channels, we have associated to channel zero, a real-time counter overflow and then to the ADC, the user of AD, um, we have this on this channel here. So that's the configuration that we've set up graphically there. So in the RTC now, 
we do not need interrupts. Uh, so we'll actually remove that ISR. And in the ADC, we do still want the out of window. So we will still generate an interrupt there. Okay, this should be the configuration we need. As before, I'm going to view the diff and we've just removed the ISR for the RTC. So I can just manually remove that from my code. So I'm not going to overwrite it. And this is what I've removed. And ideally now we have the same functionality, but we are not using interrupts. Okay, and so the data visualizer, you can see as before, we have a window period where we don't get values and we do not have, um, so we're now using the event system. And we are pretty much at the, at the end of the point we got to with that example project. So enjoy working and playing with the 817 and the event system on AVR.